Calvin is an interesting historical figure, just as there's controversy about Luther, who was he, how do we understand his psychology, his language, some of the problems with Luther. Um, the problem with Calvin is in a sense that he's hardly viewed as human. Um, uh, there's, there's a little book written a number of decades ago now called The Humanity of John Calvin, sort of as if it was in doubt. Um, that um, Calvin has almost been treated sometimes like you know, a great disembodied brain in Geneva, just uh, uh, sitting there thinking and churning out work. Um, and, and if we think about him beyond just being a brain, um, then uh, many see him just as sort of gloomy, um, oppressive, uh, you know, the definition of, uh, was it of a Calvinist or of a Puritan? It doesn't really matter, but uh, a Puritan is one who fears that somewhere someone is having a good time. And uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that isn't fair to Puritanism, and it certainly isn't fair to uh, John Calvin, but it, it is sort of the general uh, impression that Calvin has left in the popular mind of our day. And I think it is really worth the investment to try to get back behind that to see the real Calvin. That's why I wrote my little book on Calvin, uh, Calvin um, Pilgrim and Pastor, because I think the most important thing about Calvin was, first of all, that he was a pilgrim following Christ to find the truth as it was in Christ, and secondly, that he was a pastor. Uh, I think for Calvin, all of his theological work was to help him and others do pastoral work. He wasn't, you know, we have a lot of people today who are pastors who really want to be theologians, and they just need to be pastors to pay the bills. Um, that is tragic for the life of the church. Uh, we need pastors who want to be pastors, who want to preach, and who want to be out with the people uh, to help them. Um, Calvin was a pastor like that, and he did his theological work and his biblical studies to help him and others in the pastoral work. And in that sense, we see the heart of Calvin. He wasn't just a brain. He thought getting things right in your brain was important. Um, but it was so that Christian lives could be properly balanced in a biblical way. And um, uh, that was his uh, passion.